And let's begin with U.S. budget, which President Joe Biden announced yesterday. It's a budget blueprint for the fiscal year 2023. Now, under the budget proposal, the U.S. would allocate billions of dollars in aid to Ukraine. It will tax the wealthy individuals and lower its fiscal deficit. Biden is proposing a total of $5.8 trillion in federal spending in fiscal 2023. The deficit would be $1.15 trillion. There would be $795 billion for defense, $915 billion for domestic programs, and the remaining balance would go to mandatory spending, such as Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, and net interest on national debt. Biden also proposed a $6.9 billion infusion of funding for Ukraine. It is to assist in defending against Russia's invasion, as well as to aid NATO. Another $1 billion would go towards Washington's efforts to counter Moscow's influence. Biden has also proposed a minimum tax of 20% on income of taxpayers that make more than $100 million. The document also calls for more money for the police and greater funding for education, public health and housing. The proposal would also lower U.S. budget deficit by $1.13 trillion next year though $24.8 trillion national debt would continue to increase. This year we're on track to cut the deficit by more than $1 trillion, $300 billion. $1 trillion, $300 billion. That would be the largest one-year reduction in the deficit in U.S. history. And here's how we're achieving it, this record deficit reduction. First, we're growing the economy. We've created a record 6.7 million jobs since I took office, and we've generated a GDP growth of 5.7 percent, the best economic growth we've seen in this country in over 40 years. This has led to substantial increase in government revenues and dramatically improved our fiscal situation. But the budget must be approved by Congress, which Democratic Party controls by a slim majority. Now, ahead of medium-term elections, Biden administration is struggling with low approval ratings as well, while U.S. economy has regained much of the ground. Supply chain snarls, rising oil prices and strong consumer demand have sent inflation soaring. The proposal can be seen as a midterm election pitch now to a country hit by chaotic years caused by the pandemic. We on now available in your country. Download the app and get all the news on the move.